Hey y'all, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey y'all, good morning. So y'all, yesterday, I was not on here yesterday. I, I was not on here yesterday. I should have been though, because I was so, I was bored, but I didn't eat anything yesterday. So I said my grace y'all, and this morning I got some um cherries. I got some cherries and I got some, uh, I got a mango, what I always eat in the morning. I got some cherries and mango. So, y'all, cherries and mango. So, yeah, I already said my grace though. But, I should have come on here yesterday. And do my cleanser, my steam mops, my other cleanser I use. Mm. Mm. But I didn't. So next time, I was on a whole day fast, y'all. I didn't eat anything yesterday, right? Nothing. Nothing at all. I fast and didn't eat nothing. It was all liquids. I drink, drink water and I did my sea moss. I did my sea moss three times yesterday. For breakfast, not ginger, no. And then, whenever I got hungry, I did my other. And I really didn't get hungry, to be honest. But I didn't get hungry, but whenever I did it, like, want something to snack on, I did my other cleanse. So, mm. next time, I'm gonna definitely come on here and do my cleanses with y'all. Oh, this chair is good and sweet. It's so good. Yo, that's why I'm eating a little more today. I'm eating a little more today. That's why I got my cherries and my mango. Cause baby, I was uh, said so I was gonna treat myself today with the mango in the um with my mangoes and my cherries. So I was a little extra. This DM got stuck on here. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So, y'all yeah, was being a little extra today. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get me some fruits. And as I was thinking about getting more fruit, I was going to do a fruit bowl. But I was like, yeah, that would be too much. Because I usually get full off the fruits really fast. Usually a mango will do me. I'm talking about a mango do it for the rest of the morning. All the way until it's time for me to eat dinner. About five. Because y'all know I take my sea moss early in the morning. Or whatever. I take the sea moss early in the morning. And then I take it in the evening. Well, I do that on my days I cleanse. So I take it, I take it three times a day. So yesterday I took it three times. I took it early in the morning when I first got up. And I took it... Yesterday evening when it was time to eat dinner. And I took it again when it was time to, before I went to bed. Mmm. This is so good.
Y'all can't go man wrong with mango. Am I too far? I'm gonna come out of now. It's so juicy, y'all. Mmm. Mangoes are so juicy. Mm. This is a bean. Mangoes could be my breakfast every morning. Actually, I could eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mangoes. A little piece of stem. I mean, um, that's that part. Y'all know what I'm talking Yeah, but the mangoes, they always had a uh, mango be in your teeth like crazy. They do. Uh, make sure y'all get y'all floss on deck because man is. It's so good. And y'all know a lot of stuff I was not eating before I became vegan. Like healthy stuff, like onions. I would never eat no onions. Like watermelon. I wouldn't have never ate a watermelon. And I was gonna cut this and eat it on my breakfast, but I was like, oh no, I got cherries. I just moved the cherries. This is so good. So good. Yeah, I was on, uh, uh, sorry, y'all, I know y'all didn't hear me. I was on my, um, fasting thing yesterday. I'm talking about Faster because you want to make sure that your body is clean inside and out. Mm. I don't like to drop in the season.
I'm good. This is so good. I'm full, y'all. Y'all do not need a whole. Well, some people may. But I, I don't need a whole breakfast to get full. My, um. That stuff be in my tea. Uh, my stomach lining has got really small, so therefore, it's that mango in my teeth, y'all. Um, well, I'm talking about I had my floss on deck. I should have my floss in here. Yeah, yeah, my teeth. I want to get some braces because I got this gap. But I really don't like it. I don't like my gap. But some people say they can't. They don't even notice it. I do. I do because I have it. Because I'm the one wearing the gap. So, I know that it's there. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So, yeah, y'all, I was um on my cleanser yesterday. Excuse me. I did not mean to do that. But on my cleansing thing yesterday, and um, and um, I ain't eat nothing yesterday. So y'all, today I don't even know what I'm gonna eat today. This morning, that's why I'm eating light right now. Breakfast, just breakfast, um, with my fruit. That's what I normally eat for breakfast anyway. I normally don't really, I don't eat food. And then sometimes I wouldn't even eat that. Um, I wouldn't even eat no, um, no fruit. I wouldn't eat anything. For some concern, um, sometimes I don't be hungry. I take my sea moss and then that'll be all I need. But the key to... The key to um the key to um being vegan and staying focused and um trying to stay vegan without like uh going backwards is a uh, What I want to say is, um, first of all, it's putting God first. I had to put Jesus in everything. God first. God has to be first in your life. For you to get accomplished anything, anything to accomplish anything in your life, God has to be first. He has to be number one in your life. Or it's not, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I know for me, it's not going to work out for me. Anything uh, that you do, I would recommend to put God first. So, that's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. 
And that's just what I have to do. I have to do that. I have to definitely put God first in my life at all times. Uh, um, yeah, so I keep God first. Uh, like I said, the key to the vegan thing is you got to be prayed up. Um, that fast to fast is not easy. A lot of people uh, go start fasting and then will uh like just get hungry or got, have a craving for something that they want and don't want to really break their fast but can't help it because they got something that they really want and y'all i gotta get this out hold on y'all Um, to um, to really to do your fast and to go through with it and to be strong with it, you gotta be prayed up. You gotta pray. It's it's like I had to. I had to. I don't know. Like a lot of people say, they can make it. They can do this. But it's just one thing about me, is that I can't do nothing without God. I know that for a fact. Without him, I am nobody. I am nothing. I know that. So that goes that's that's why I say that I had to pray. I had to have God first. So if you you do want to take this vegan journey, just pray about it. Pray about it. If you go on a fast, pray. Every day. Every fast you go on, pray, ask God to guide you. Pray. Pray, ask God to lead you. Pray, ask him to take you through. Everything you do, you have to pray. You do. You. I, I have to. I mean, everybody. I mean, everybody is. I mean, like, everybody's different. So, some people claim they don't have to. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want to. I don't want to talk negative. So the only thing is, is that um, I know I had to. But the simple fact to start, even to be on here every day, like I just had to, to be on here every day, I had to get my mind focused. Um, hey. Um. And to do my journey, to just do this that vegan journey, to get on that vegan journey, because I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I knew that I was tired of eating all those heavy foods. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I wanted to leave it alone. I knew I didn't want to do that no more. And then the weight that I was picking up, I didn't like the weight that I was picking up as well. I didn't like the weight. It, I was really heavy, and then... I just didn't like my weight. I was always I subconscious with my weight. Always subconscious with my weight. Always. Always have been. I don't know why, but I always have been that way. So, when I get to, like, if I get to a certain extent and a certain size, and I, and I, I really, you know how you don't notice that you're gaining weight? You don't notice until it's, like, time for you to go, like, put some clothes on and you go find something that you haven't worn in a while. And it's so cute. And you're like, oh, I know. I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear this in a while. Well, that's how I realized that I was gaining so much weight. And I'm like, wait a minute. No. This can't be real. So, I'm, I uh, I had to try on something else. That's what made, I, like. So, I had, I grabbed some clothes out the closet. Some jeans. And the jeans was, like, way too tight. Like, the zipper kept busting open. So, 
I went and got this little dress up shirt because I was going somewhere and I couldn't fit the shirt. Like, I couldn't fit the shirt. The shirt, I was like busting out of the shirt. So, like, I knew that I was busting out that shirt. Like, I ain't gonna say like busting out of like that, but the shirt was really tight. Like, it was tight. It was too tight to wear. I wouldn't wear it. Like, I couldn't wear it. I knew I couldn't fit it. I knew it didn't look right. I knew that I needed to put a different shirt on and take that one off. So, that was that. that was a big issue for me. Like, gaining weight has always been a, a big issue for me. And then, I also um, end up going on this vegan journey journey sorry journey because of um I can't say health issues I can't say that because I honestly I didn't have no health issues but I was told I did I was told that I did have some and um I believed them I believe the doctor when he told me that. And it was not true. I went to another doctor and got a second opinion. And come to find out that that was not true. And he was ready to treat me He for it. He was ready to put through surgery. He was just ready. Like, he was so ready to put me through all this. Put me through so... Well, I can't, I can't say all this, but he was ready to put me through all of that. He was ready to put me through so much. And I didn't even need it. So that that's another thing. Like, you can't trust everybody. Like, you can't even trust doctors nowadays. And when you can't trust them, like, I don't know. I mean, you, when you can't trust them, and them who that's who you go to for opinion, um, uh, for health opinions. I I, I don't know. I don't know. You, I mean, I know what to tell you. The who what what's the answer? Jesus. That's who you run to. Cause I'm telling you, sis, bruh, you can't run to these doctors. They will kill us. They will tell us the wrong thing. And I don't know if it's about making money. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's mistakes. I don't know. I clearly, I really don't know. But I just jumped onto that subject. That's a whole other subject. Which is, I don't know, but it's really not because it goes with what I was saying. Because I thought that I had an issue. Because the doctor told me I did. And it wasn't true. So, anyway, like I was saying, this is all going into why I became vegan. And it was in the plan, the Lord's plan. I I just, I have to say that because, you know what? Y'all, you got to understand something. Everything that's happened or happening was going to happen, it happened for a reason. It's already written. It's already um, scripture is already there for us. Our lives is already written out. Jesus know exactly what we're going to do before we do it. He already have our lives written out. Y'all don't know nobody greater than him. <laughs> Somebody already have your life written out. Know what's coming to you ahead of time. Know what your future looks like. Like, who y'all don't know nobody like him. The doctors don't know that. The doctors can't tell you that. So, if he can, if he knows, if Jesus knows this, and he can save, save lives, he was beaten on the cross for our sins. And if you know that he knows our future, he has this written out for us, why wouldn't you seek him? Why wouldn't you run to him? That's what I had to do. I went vegan, but it was about the help of it was about the help of Jesus. It was about the help of God. Like I can go vegan just by myself, and like, oh, I'm going vegan. I'm doing this a while. Blah 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 blah. I did, 
I did say that. I did. And I did just wake up the next day like, I'm not doing this. Went to the doctor one day and woke up the next day like, okay, I quit. I'm not doing this. I did. I did. And the only reason why it was just that simple and it's just that easy for me to say, because I, I believed in God. I do. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. He took me where I needed to be. He showed me the way. He showed me the way. I asked him to lead me, to guide me, to grab me by my hand, guide the way. I asked for that. He said, ask and you shall receive. So don't be ashamed to ask. Because if you were ashamed to ask, honey, he's going to be ashamed to even do anything for you. Or he ain't going to be ashamed. You just won't get anything done. So don't ever be ashamed. When it comes to Jesus, don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. Don't be ashamed. And don't ever deny him. Because when you're in your desperate need of times, and you run to him, honey, and you need him right away, you think you need him right away. But he going to always be there right on time. He's a right on time God. He's an on-time God. No matter what, he's an on-time God. No matter what, he's an on-time God. No matter who you are, what's going on, he's an on-time God. Some people feel like, oh, I need Jesus right now. No. He know when you need him. He know when it's going to go sour for you. He knows. He's an on-time God. Do what you got to do, and he going to definitely do what he's, he got to do for you. It's no, he already know, but you still have to ask. He want to know that you acknowledge him. He want to know that. He do. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Financial issues, financial problems, fi anything. Health issues, health problems, sickness. <laughs> it's going to be all right. I'm Take it to Jesus. Take it to Jesus. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Sis, bruh. Sis, bruh, you, you give him a chance. Your whole life is going to turn around tremendously, and you ain't going to even know what hits you. But he going to put it on your mind that it was him. He going to put it on your mind to let you know that it wasn't nothing but him. So you definitely going to know what hits you. You're going to be confused for a second. For When I say a second, I mean that. I meant what I said. Hot split second. A second. You're going to be a, a second. Because confusion is not of God. So a second. The devil going to try to confuse you for a second. A second. He gonna, God going to take that away. He going to knock that right out the way and let you realize he did that for you. But you just have to open your eyes and ears. Look, listen, and learn. Pay attention to that little soft voice that be in your head. Listen to that. That's him. He's speaking to you. He letting you know what time it is, what you need to do. And if you hear that voice, please pay us some attention. Please listen. Listen. Because a lot of times I had that voice and I'm telling y'all, I'm just like this. Like in my phone, I hear, but I'm just like, you know, you know, I, I got a lot going on right now. Since we've been on this quarantine thing, listen, I have been doing things to make the future better for me and the children, me and my children. Well, okay, me, my husband, and my children, <laughs> um, which is true. Um, actually, he's been, and he's just been giving, helping me do what I need to do for my future. So, yeah, he's like, investing in me so I can do what I need to do for the future, which is amazing thing. You know, it's really good that you got somebody in your corner like that to help. So I really appreciate that. I really do. But let me go to say this. All those that are uh, all those that are quarantining and don't have to be at work. Don't have to go to work. Y'all. Y'all know we should be trying to find some type of platform or try to be entrepreneurs or anything to keep ourselves busy and to keep 
a steady income flowing in. Y'all know we need to do that. Because times, I'm talking about times like this, times are hard. Times are hard. I'm telling y'all, times is hard. I got five kids. Times is hard. Five, I have five. My oldest is 20. I have five kids. So, when I say y'all need to do something, invest in your children. Invest in, if, if you don't, I mean, in, you can invest in yourself. Like, just take it upon yourself or, you know, you don't always need a, a, a second party or whatever. Sometimes you do. I mean, I'm not... I'm not all the way into this YouTube thing, but I'm trying to get there. I mean, I, I just, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get to the top, y'all. Trying to get to the top. So, I appreciate it. If y'all go ahead and subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and hit all those bells. Just hit all. If they still, if it's still red, then something ain't right. If it's great, excellent. Y'all, please don't forget to subscribe. Please support, support, support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. God bless everyone. Everybody be blessed today. It's a nice day outside. Everyone um, needs to enjoy. Y'all, we still got to stay safe, stay home, wash our hands. Um, we got to uh, keep the kids safe. Um, Y'all, let's not try to be out in these stores shopping. It's not about that right now. That's not what this world is about. We, what we need to do is everybody needs to pray. Everybody needs to pray. When I say everybody, I mean the country, America, not even just America, the world, every living human being needs to pray. We need to seek Jesus. He's coming back soon to get his people. I just got a whole body um what what I wanna say uh chills all from here and down when I said that he's coming back soon to get his people when I said that yeah I did so y'all I'm talking when I say this is real this is real this is real like real when I say we need to get together y'all and and pray and come as one come together and don't let uh, one man try to divide a country, divide a country, you know, it, it's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. And we just got to pray. We do. We got to pray, y'all. It's a lot. We got to pray. So, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'll see y'all later on today, hopefully, um, if I have an appetite. <laughs> I'll be back. I should. I will have appetite, though. Um, I do got a taste for my vegan chicken sandwich. Y'all know that's the famous, fav, my favorite famous chicken sandwich I came up with. Um, Y'all, I seen KFC got a vegan chicken sandwich. Now, y'all know how I am with this, trying this, uh, with these fast foods. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm going to tell y'all how I am with these fast foods. So, I really don't trust the fast food uh, when it comes down to vegan. But I'm going to go out here and try a lot of vegan. I'm going to go out here and try restaurants with vegan food. And let you guys be the judge. I'll, I mean, I'm just going to be on there. I'm going to I'm gonna go. I'm going to get. I have to get some sandwiches. I have to get some of this vegan food. Not even just so much of sandwiches. Whatever. i seen this vegan uh, restaurant. They cater. Um, they also have vegan cakes. My birthday is coming up, so I definitely will be ordering me a vegan cake. You guys want to eat that with me and celebrate my birthday. Um, I will be more than happy to have you guys. So definitely stay tuned. Don't forget, my birthday is July 27th. Make sure you guys are here. We're definitely going to try this vegan um, cake. Yeah, we definitely going to try that. So, yeah. So, y'all... Um, I will definitely get back, be back here, 
right now, guys. I have a lot of things I need to do. I got a lot of research I need to do. So, I will see you guys later. Peace.